top tips for looking younger when you're older. When it comes to looking younger, the kinds of tips you will receive can broadly be split into two categories. On the one hand, you have tips that will focus on how you can prevent yourself from looking older. Prevention is better than cure, as they say. So if you focus on looking after your skin and avoiding aging habits, then you can keep yourself looking youthful for years to come. But this video is not about that. This video is about the other type of advice. The advice that will help you to look younger when it's already too late. This is a video that is all about getting away with your current look. And we're starting with this because it's the fastest and the easiest way to immediately make a difference to your lifestyle and the way you feel. We've discussed how your mindset, approach to life, and expectations can all help you to feel and therefore look younger. Making these immediate changes will alter the way that people act towards you and the way you feel about yourself. No one above the age of 20 wants to look their age. And as you start to approach middle age, you will find that each birthday seems like something of a kick in the teeth as you realize you are now less likely to ever become a rock star and less likely to go out with an 18-year-old again. And then there's the other little downside. The way you look as you get older and the way you lose your one-time youthful skin and body tone. It's like watching yourself slowly fall apart as everyone writes you off, and it's understandably a little painful. However, the good news is, is that there are ways we can slow down the hands of time and to protect our skin so we don't necessarily advertise our age to anyone who happens to look in our direction. Here are some of those strategies. Skin products for reversing aging. Skin products work in a variety of ways and are successful in what they set out to do to varying degrees. Be wary of things claiming to contain collagen as the collagen particles are often too large to get through the skin's pores. Likewise, though, things like moisturizers are very good at giving our skin back its buoyancy, while things like exfoliants can reduce the apparent depth of wrinkles by removing residual dead skin from the surface of our face. In fact, if you were to use only one skin product in an attempt to try and reverse some of the signs of aging, then an exfoliant should be it. Skin products with vitamins and minerals can also be very helpful. While some also contain topically applied antioxidants, make sure to read reviews and to learn the science before making your choice. Another great strategy is to get a tan. A tan will help you to hide lines and wrinkles by darkening your skin so that the dark shadows where your lines are strike less of a contrast against the rest of your skin. As we'll learn in an upcoming video, sun exposure, though, is one of the biggest culprits when it comes to making your skin age more quickly. So that's not the aim here. Rather, look for self-tanning moisturizers. These are an underutilized product that will naturally add pigment to your skin and give you a slightly darker tone. At the very least, this will make you look healthier and give you more of a glow. We'll discuss skin products in more detail in upcoming videos. Makeup. How women can use makeup to look younger and work their current age. For women, using makeup is always an option to cover up wrinkles and other blemishes. Sure, it's a temporary solution, but it's enough in many cases to make a big difference if you add some foundation to a lined area. You should also use this around age spots and other blemishes that might give away your age. Don't go overboard with foundation though, ladies. Less is more, and it's better to go for a sheer coverage. As you age, matte powdery foundations can end up building up and clumping in the cracks and crevices of your wrinkles, and this is not a good look. You should also aim to cover up bags and lines under the eyes, though this can also be done with more face creams designed to plump up specific areas. The main objective for women trying to look younger with makeup, though, will often be to add color to their face. As you age, you will lose some of this color, and as such, you might start to look washed out, pale, and potentially even unwell. Adding color really works then, but you also need to be careful not to create too stark a contrast. If you wear bright blue eyeshadow and bright red lipstick, you can end up looking like the Joker, or simply as though you never got the memo that you had gotten older. As with most things, using makeup to look younger is all about subtlety and making small differences. For example, using a little color to brighten up the corners of your eyes can make a big difference. Likewise, you might want to use a peach-colored blush and not a brighter red blusher in order to bring a little extra color to your cheeks. These changes should be unnoticeable, but they should also be enough to unconsciously make a difference. 
The same goes with giving your skin a little more of a highlight by using strobing. This basically involves adding a little fake luminosity. Sadly lost to age. By dabbing creams, better than powders, to the tops of the cheekbones and down the bridge of the nose. For your lips and eyes, use colors that don't strike too strong a contrast against your skin. Go for a couple of shades darker than your natural skin color, and you'll come up with something that looks more mature, sophisticated, and understated. Be aware that very dark matte colors can actually make your lips look thinner, which in turn makes you potentially look older. Berry shades and autumn colors can have the opposite effect, especially when combined with a subtle lip liner and a little well-placed gloss. This is where it can be a great idea to try attending a makeup class. Classes such as Color Me Beautiful can teach you to apply makeup like a pro and to work with your own skin colors and strengths. How to work the cougar look. Hopefully, everything I suggested just then makes sense to you, and you can see how this might impact your ability to look and feel younger. But you might have also noticed that there are some examples of women straying from this advice and looking great. Joanna Lemley, for example, Terry Hatcher, and the whole cast of Desperate Housewives, Courtney Cox, Julie Bowen. These are women who look hot for their age, and who do so using much darker and more contrasting makeup. These women all work a certain look. Age has actually slimmed their faces, and given them more defined features. They are naturally thin as well, or have intense training regimes and diets, and they have partly used makeup in order to enhance their now exaggerated cheekbones, deeper set eyes, and thinner lips. In these cases, you are looking to enhance the look of your sharper features, and you can do this with darker brows, whereas lighter, feathery brows are traditionally a more youthful look and by highlighting either your eyes or your lips with a bolder but dark and mature color. Likewise, you can try using contouring in order to enhance your new features even further. Grooming Okay, men, you can wake up again. This feature applies to men and women, and in fact, it should apply to men even more so. Because what is one of the things that we most associate with older men? Commonly, that would be nose hair, wild eyebrows, and ear hair. Likewise, older women will often start to show their age with small amounts of hair growing on their chin. Partly this is due to hormonal changes, unfortunately. But look, hormones don't prevent you from using a trimmer. Again, this comes down to attitude as much as anything. Once you stop caring about your looks, then this sends a signal that you're off the market and that you consider yourself to be old and washed up. Of course, it plain looks bad and draws attention to the fact that you are aging but it's also the mental aspect that makes such a big difference. So just take the time to groom. It has a massive impact. Hair color. Our hair is an important part of our identity and of our look. We tend to associate luscious locks with youth and with vitality, and we tend to think of vibrant color the same way. Hair covers a large amount of our heads and is visible outside of our clothes. Thus, it is very visible and one of the biggest statements we can make with regards to personal style and looks. It stands to reason, then, that gray hair can transform our appearance almost instantly, and certainly for the worse, leaving us looking a lot older. As such, then, it is important that we find ways to achieve gray coverage and to hide our gray hairs in one way or another. There are several ways to do this, and this will ensure that we look a lot younger and don't suffer the effects of gray hair. Of course, the most obvious form of gray hair coverage is to use hair dyes, which should ideally be natural. There are ways of going about this, though, if you want optimum results. Avoid anything that is too far removed from your current coloring. It is better to use a lighter color, and this way lighten your current hair color while also darkening your grays, essentially allowing your hair to meet in the middle. There is nothing worse than someone in their 80s dyeing their hair jet black, It looks incredibly fake. Another option is to look for dyes that only dye gray hairs. These include the likes of Just For Men. And while they can contain some astringent chemicals and successful reports vary, they certainly represent a better approach than trying to nuke your grays with an overly vibrant color. This is about aging gracefully, drawing attention away from your grays, not trying to get your hair to look like the same as it did when you were in your teens. For men in particular, another interesting option is to embrace the grays by going for a mottled look. If you were starting to get a few gray hairs come through, 
This can actually be a worse look than purposely choosing to embrace a speckled appearance, which many women actually find sexy. Good examples of this look are Matt LeBlanc, 49, and of course George Clooney, 56. The female equivalent involves dyeing hair silver, though this can risk making you look like an earth mother type unless you go for a shorter do. Hairstyle Your hairstyle can also make a difference to your age, but again, this is about embracing and working with your age. Women, the younger you are, the longer your hair can be. As you get older, slightly shorter hair tends to be more flattering. And for women and men, shorter hair is a good way to cover up the hair that you might be losing or to hide gray hairs. Try shaving around the sides and having it longer on top. For men who are losing their hair, don't fight it. There are few things more upsetting than a weak comb over and you would almost always be better off embracing a shaven head. This is a look that works great for Bruce Willis and many other celebrities and if anything, it will make you look tougher. Here's one of the things about working your looks as an older man. While traditional female beauty is all about being soft, supple, and youthful, men can get away with looking tough and haggard and still make it seem attractive. Shaven hair and some stubble below can help you to work this look well. And generally, growing stubble or a beard as you start to lose your hair is a great way to draw attention away from a bald head and to demonstrate that you still have enough youthful hormones to grow hair. For men who refuse to give in to the relentless march of the hairlines, though, there are a few more options. One is to choose the faux hawk. This is a haircut that was sported by Jude Law for a long time and which involves having a small amount of hair in the front middle of the head combed forward.